Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So, today is a pretty busy day and yeah, let's just get started right into it. I actually woke up to some Amazon packages this morning so I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. And I know I was talking about it in a previous video how my schedule has been so messed up because of COVID and everything that I really wanted to make this video for you guys and sit down and schedule out an entire week to make my life more productive while I'm in quarantine because I know it's not about being productive while we've been given this blessed thing of time but for me personally I've just been feeling super slumped and super gross and I want to be able to make something of this time because honestly I have nothing to do and of course I'm still gonna take self-care days and stuff but I actually you know I got dressed and look decent today I decided we'd actually wear jeans because you know be a little bit human I'm just wearing this green misguided sweater and then my BDG jeans that I I love you guys know I love these but let's do that little unboxing that I was talking about I've been ordering a whole bunch of stuff off of Amazon recently and I'm sure there's more packages coming in this week but I have a feeling this is the yoga mat that I ordered and funny story I didn't think that I had one but I had a yoga mat in storage so now I have two and then I'm not sure what this is but let's open it up so let's see what is in package number one I feel like this is a game show um, I've ordered so much stuff recently that I, I Half the time I don't even know what's coming or when it's coming and oh yeah okay so I ordered some new resistance bands because some of mine were getting old and breaking so I got these to do some more workouts because I needed new ones they look beautiful look at these colors black of course but then this is gorgeous turquoise and green one so I will link this set down below because they were actually a super great price for the set of three and they look pretty nice. So that's exciting. And then let's see what's in this one. I have a feeling this is a yoga mat because of how long it is. Like, I didn't order anything else that would be in such a long box. Come on. I have an X-Acto knife somewhere, but I always find myself using scissors instead. I don't know why, but always happens. Yep, I was right. Yoga mat. Good. I ordered just a plain black one, and it's just a, I think it's a six millimeter one. Yeah, it's a six millimeter. Just this plain black one. I'll probably keep this one too, even though I have another one already just as a backup because you never know the other one's more like heavy duty but it's always nice to have like a thinner one yay i'm excited now i've got some new fitness stuff so that'll be fun and exciting so my family actually just stopped by i was talking to my mom a few days ago and mentioning that i wanted some art stuff from home and so she texted me this morning that she was dropping by and she brought me all of my art stuff if you guys didn't know i actually used to draw so much I think this is my old portfolio. Back here is some more recent stuff. Yeah, I used to draw a lot, and so I got her to bring me some of my like old art stuff here so that I could do stuff again. I got her to bring me my portfolio, actually, just so I could reference stuff. But yeah, I because I have so much free time on my hands, I thought it would be nice to get back into doing art. Just because I haven't for so long, and... So I might vlog that a little bit, doing art and stuff now. I hope you guys are okay with that and like that, but... I feel like today is just my big errands and chores day, and tomorrow will be the big scheduling and planning day. I'm gonna go to bed early tonight and wake up early tomorrow so I can plan everything out with you guys. But yeah, today I feel like it's just tidying my life and getting everything in place so that tomorrow after I schedule, I can like put the schedule in place because right now I have to run to Shoppers and Costco and the grocery store. I gotta do a bunch of errands because I always keep all my errands to the same day. I did even before all this quarantine happened, but especially right now, I only go out once a week, if that.
So I'm not someone who normally likes to dry my hair with heat, but when I know I'm doing something the next day or like right before bed, like it is right now, like I'm a night shower person anyways, but if it's right before bed, because I don't like going to bed with wet hair, I dry my hair. And I've been using this little Revlon style brush that I got for my birthday. And I've actually been loving this thing so much because I have super thin hair, I feel like it adds a nice volume. But before I do that, I'm just gonna moisturize my skin because I just got out of the shower, so that's gotta be done. And I've been using this little tester of the milk moisturizer, the vegan one, and I've been loving it. It's super thick, but I'll definitely be buying the full size of this next time because I've been trying to find a good skin moisturizer. I used this one here, the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer for the longest time, but I found that it gave my skin a really weird texture and it wasn't hydrating enough. Like I have combination skin, so I need kind of a moisturizer that moisturizes well, but also like doesn't make me more oily than I need to be. Okay, now I'm just going to do my hair. It's kind of the end of the night now. I might watch a TV show or a YouTube video or something, but I'm gonna sign off for tonight and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful sunshiny morning this morning. So I decided to go for a little walk, which I have been doing most mornings, but it's been cold lately. Today it's like 10 degrees out, so it's actually beautiful. I'm just listening to my podcast. I'm listening right now to Gals on the Go with Brooke and Danielle, and I absolutely love it. Sometimes I listen to the I Love You So Much with Kenzie as well. But I think it's just such a great way to start my morning. And then I'm gonna go back and eat breakfast and you know get my day going. But I feel like this is, even if I wake up a little bit later than I wanted to, this is a great way to kind of get my day going and get my day started. I think it's so nice to wake up and go for a, a sunny walk, especially because my neighborhood's quiet and it's just nice. I posted this recipe on my story, I think it was last week, and it was my peanut butter chocolate swirl protein oats, and a lot of you were asking for the recipe, so I thought I'd just share it really quickly. It's really easy, so I just make oatmeal like I normally do, and then I add a bunch of chia seeds into there. Like, I kind of just sprinkle them on. And just stir those in. And then I stir in a scoop of my protein powder, whatever one I have handy. This is just a vanilla one today. Sometimes I do a chocolate one. Totally depends on what I'm feeling, but this morning we're going to go with this vanilla one. And then just stir that all in and then once that's mixed then I put this into a bowl I use dark chocolate chocolate chips and I just kind of put a handful I kind of just sprinkle those on top and they'll get mixed in after and then I melt some just peanuts smooth peanut butter I just use this blue menu PC one it's my favorite and it's because the ingredient is literally just peanuts So that is how I make my peanut butter chocolate swirl oatmeal and then sometimes I'll just top it with a little bit of granola or banana or 
something else but sometimes i just eat it plain like that but you guys were asking and it's really yummy and this is what we're listening to this morning because we've been watching a bunch of disney movies so i feel like it's kind of accurate finally it's time to sit down and plan out this productivity for quarantine and just make my life more productive during this thing so i'm gonna walk you guys through everything that i'm doing um, I've got three kind of ways to organize myself here. I'm going to pull up a Google document. I've kind of written down a few things that I want to get done during every week, some things that I want to do every day, and I just kind of want to sit down and plan it all out. And then I've also got my just daily planner as well as a little pad of sticky notes. If you guys have a daily to-do list pad, that's great as well. For me, I don't have one of those. I should order one. I really want to. Probably will end up doing it, ordering some off of Amazon. That is kind of my three organizational systems right now. So what I'm gonna be doing on my computer is kind of planning out the general tasks every week and every day that I wanna get done. And then in my planner, what I'm gonna be doing is every week I'm gonna write down on each day the things that I really have to do or like scheduled things that I know need to be done. And then for the sticky notes, I'm gonna start writing down every day things to do, like my to-do list for the day. The document is kind of just a general overview of things that I can look back on and check off if I've gotten done. They're just little things here and there that I want to do. So I'm gonna sit here and plan it all out and then I'll show you guys everything that I've done afterwards. done my schedule now before I show you guys kind of what I planned out just wanted to talk productivity for a little bit during this time don't feel bad at all if you're not being productive or you don't have something to be productive I personally have just felt really sluggish and really gross the last few days since I've been done school since I haven't had anything to do and I personally wanted to sit down I've had things that I wanted to do every single day and I just haven't had the motivation to get up and do it so I find like making a schedule, making something that I can print off, check off, and keeping myself accountable is the best way to do that. Even if you just have a few things that you want to do every day, like work out, maybe you're a creative person, you draw or you read, you want to get books read, maybe you want to start going on walks every day or baking food, making food, whatever. I would just suggest like writing those things out and kind of creating like, okay, every day I want to do this or every Monday I want to do this. And it'll really help you just kind of go towards that goal more and get things done during this quarantine. Even if they're simple tasks that aren't even really like productive, it'll help you just fill your day rather than sitting on a couch watching movies 24 seven or being on your phone 24 seven because I don't think that's good for us either. But let's get into my schedule. Let me show you guys what I planned out. So I just used Google Docs and I'll just quickly like scroll through this before I explain it, but I did a weekly schedule and then every single day some like weekly things that I need to get done on those days and then daily schedule little things to get done every single day. I planned out every single day different YouTube things that I have to do that day, different Instagram things that I wanna get done that day, just work things overall. And then also I planned a workout for every single day. So I'm kind of hitting a different workout area, whether it's lower body, back, I have one hit workout a week. And I've just, I wanna start working out every single day except for Sundays, which are my rest day, but like six times a week, especially because I'm at home and they're a lot lower intensity than if I was in the gym, I'd normally be doing four days a week anyways. So two more lower intensity at home is not that much. So I thought it would be good to do that. And then I just planned in some other things during the week that are certain things that I have to do on certain days. For example, Wednesdays is recycle garbage day and also look up my meals for the week if I wanna try any new recipes because Thursday I go grocery shopping. So it kinda just, I worked in some things to fit in and start doing on specific days. 
And then for my daily schedule, there's, like I said, some things that I want to start doing every single day, like waking up at 8 a.m. I've been sleeping in and going to bed late, and my schedule has just been so whack that I really want to start getting it back into order. And so 8 a.m. I feel like is a good kind of time to wake up. But then I also want to do a 15 to 30 minute like yoga or stretch in the morning before I eat breakfast or get coffee or tea or do anything. Go outside if it's warm enough and just start doing that because I, I feel like that will be really good for my body, especially working out more. Post at least one IG story every day which I've been pretty good at anyways but then also post IG content like every other day um, have a lunch break because I feel like I haven't actually been doing that I've been eating lunch at weird times check and respond to all my work emails because sometimes I check them and I don't respond to them and I'm just bad for that so getting into a better habit with that I want to start sketching and drawing every single day because I recently I showed you guys yesterday my mom dropped me off all my art stuff so I want to start doing art again and then cook dinner and spend time with Alan so typically after dinner and stuff I have my time with Alan and we just chill and hang out and that's good for me because I work during the day he can do whatever during the day and then yeah and then I want to start doing a little journal at night I always used to and I just kind of stopped for some reason so I want to start doing that again at least five minutes a night and then 10 minute read before bed because I I know it's not good to be on your screen before bed and I've gotten into this bad habit of doing that so I might start a book or read my bible or something and just 10 minutes before bed give my eyes a break from a screen and read. That is kind of my my schedule is my plan what is going to start making me be more productive but now I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. I don't have too much to do today it was more so just wanting to plan all of this out. Ladies I did a bad thing. I've been so good with not downloading this app and not just not doing it, but I uh, I downloaded TikTok. I shouldn't have because it's really addicting and I knew it was going to be addicting and um, if you want to follow me on TikTok, it's just at Vanessa to you. It'll be down below. I actually might start making TikToks. I have no idea what I'll do on there because I can't dance. So, and that's majority of what TikTok is and I'm not funny um so maybe I'll do like some fashion stuff on there I don't know I'll have to like follow some other people and influencers and see what they're doing and <laughs> okay okay I'm actually gonna do a TikTok right now I'm gonna do this though I'm actually gonna do a hair tutorial on this little hair thing that I've got going on because I've seen a few of those and I like them and I feel like I can pull that one off so let's do this If you want to see how that TikTok turned out, go check out my TikTok. I'm actually, I'm actually going to start posting more. I swear, I'm probably going to become addicted at this and I will get better at doing TikToks, but I'm going to start making TikToks. So I need to work out now. I had lunch a few hours ago and it's like, what time is it? It's like 3.30, so it's a good time to work out before I have to make dinner and stuff. I'm just doing an easy little leg workout today. If you want to see some of my follow along workouts with me, there'll be a link down below. But basically, I do a workout with you guys. It's live, real time. But this workout, I'm just going to speed through because those are up on my channel. And definitely request more of those. You guys have been liking them. So, yeah. But I'm going to work out now. And then after my workout, it's time for dinner and just like relax for the evening. So I'm back in the Disney sweater now, but I'm about to make dinner. I finished my workout. I'm just gonna set you guys here. Just making a really simple dinner tonight. I am making my signature sweet potato fries. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that recipe, how to make the best homemade oven sweet potato fries. Literally my fave thing ever. And then I'm gonna do a broccoli kale salad, I think, and just some chicken in the oven, like lemon, salt and pepper, really simple. And yeah, just really simple dinner let's start cooking I have finally been put back on a little bit more of a normal schedule it's currently six so we'll be eating dinner at latest seven at least it's not like eight eight thirty I've been so bad recently and and honestly I do not like eating that late but 
The first thing that I do for the sweet potatoes, I do not peel them, so I just leave it whole like this and then chop it up and I think that's how you do it the best. So then what you wanna do is line a baking tray with parchment paper. Toss the sweet potato fries in a light layer of olive oil. You don't want too much, otherwise they won't cook right. If you don't have enough, well they won't cook right either. You just wanna lightly cover them, make sure they're all covered and good. I'm just gonna cover it with this sea salt and black peppercorn mix. So I cannot do this with one hand. So a little bit of salt and pepper all over that, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of Herbes de Provence. I'm not French, don't get mad at me for butchering that. This is the most stunning queen sweet potato fries you will ever have. Trust me, they are the best things ever. And then bake them at 425 Fahrenheit in the oven. Flip them about halfway through, about 20 minutes per side. They are so stunning, trust me, delicious. Kale and broccoli are both pretty tough vegetables, so I'm gonna cut them up first and put them in our big salad bowl with some olive oil just to soak and soften them up a bit because, like I said, they're tough and they need to be softened. So then this is the salad and it's just kale, broccoli, carrot, cherry tomatoes, and goat's cheese. And I'm gonna put some pumpkin seeds on it, but I always make a homemade sauce. So this is an apple cider vinaigrette with Dijon mustard and honey and salt and pepper. And it just goes all over top and then I'll mix it up, but it's so good. Then these are the stunning queen sweet potato fries and then the chicken breast and we always have the sweet potato fries with a little bit of this chipotle mayo. It is the best stuff. It's just the PC chipotle mayo and it is delicious. This stuff on the sweet potato fries is like heaven. I used to eat sweet potato fries with ketchup and no, it just not, not a thing. This stuff is golden. There's our dinner tonight and I thought that our movie for today needed a little bit of an explanation. We're watching the seventh Harry Potter movie. And basically, as you guys know, or some of you might know, we were supposed to go to London like this coming week. I don't know when the vlog's gonna go up, but like we would have been leaving this coming Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <clears throat> so basically I was supposed to get him to watch all the Harry Potter movies before we left because they're my favorite movies. He's never seen them. No, I've, I've just never been interested in watching them before I, we were together, so. So we watched the first, what, two or three? Three before quarantine? Yeah, well, before quarantine, we watched four. We watched four? We watched four, yeah. Okay, so we watched the first four before quarantine, and now we've just been watching the last four. So we're on the seventh one right now, two more to go, and he actually likes them. Yeah, I, uh, I really like them. It's just... I love character development. I think Harry Potter is one of those series that really has it, so I'm really liking it. So. Yeah, so that's kind of like our little blurb for tonight's video and why we've been watching these movies and why we're watching it tonight, but I thought it deserved a little bit of an explanation. And you say, hey? Hey, where's my wand, Harry? Where's my wand? I don't know. Harry Potter, you give me my so today is a very work centered day. I've got some videos to film and edit and content to shoot. I'm just setting up for a video here that you guys will probably have already seen. This video will be going up before this vlog, but I'm just setting up to film and then it's gonna be a very busy, productive work day. It's kind of the first day of putting my new schedule into check and like, exercising, you know, the new schedule and discipline on myself. But yeah, today's a big film work day. I think I've said that a few times now. 
Um, so I don't know how much I'm actually going to vlog today, but I thought I'd just tell you guys that and that I'm putting my schedule into effect and we're having a very productive day. So that is kind of what is up right now. So I'm going to film and then maybe catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I've got my coffee and my breakfast already. I also got these two lips yesterday. I didn't show you guys. And it's nice to have like fresh flowers in the house. Today's another quiet day. Not too much is going on, but I'm sure I'll figure out something to do. I know there's like more cleaning up and stuff to do around here. It's a beautiful day outside, so we might go just chill outside, go for walks and stuff, and kind of just relax today. So actually, while I was filming yesterday, I got a package in from Aritzia. Got, I ordered a bunch of stuff. They're having like a great 50% off sale. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. Thought I'd do a little bit of a haul, show you guys everything that I got from Aritzia before, you know, we continue on with the day. Just cause I got some fun pieces and you guys like clothing hauls and like seeing my selects and stuff. I actually got quite a few colored pieces and most of the ones that I got are from Wilfred. That's my favorite kind of line brand in Aritzia. And I also have been loving this like ribbed texture. So the first thing is this baby blue dress from Wilfred been trying to get more pretty dresses so that when I have occasions I have stuff to wear but it's absolutely gorgeous I feel kind of like Ariel except she, her dress is like lilac obviously but I feel like it's that style and it's just it's so gorgeous this little baby blue color I'm in love with it Next is this little off the shoulder top. I think it's TNA. Is that what the tag says? Yeah, TNA. I have been loving little one off the shoulder tops. I feel like this is so summery, springy. It's so cute and really simple, just a basic. And then this olive green skirt from Wilfred. I probably should have got it in an extra small, but it's just got this little slit right here. I think it's so classy and like... I love this color so much. This skirt and that dress were definitely my biggest steals. This skirt is regular price, 120, and I got it for like 35, so very happy. And then that dress is regular price, 150, and I got it for like 60, so some good deals going on here. Next is this off the shoulder or one shoulder white bodysuit from TNA. It's just the rib one I showed earlier. 
but I think it's so pretty. I love off the shoulder stuff for one shoulder stuff right now. And then next is this little mini skirt from Wilfred as well, I believe. Yeah, it's Wilfred as well. And I just got this long pink racer back tank as well. It's Wilfred as well. Really simple, plain, something that's easy to kind of style. I love the light kind of pink peachy color. I feel like with a tan, it'll look really good. I'm super pale right now, so it's like blends in with my skin tone. But when I have a tan, I feel like it'll look really nice. Next up is this little corset bustier kind of top from TNA. And it's just this little lilac color. I think it's going to be so pretty for summer. And it's just so little and girly and cute, I think. I don't know. I just, I love kind of the tops that have this sort of thing going on, especially because I don't really have boobs. So I feel like I can wear these little tops and it's okay. And the last thing that I got is this little cutout sports bra. I wanted the leggings to go with it or like biker shorts or something, but they were all sold out of literally everything in this space gray color. So I'm like checking constantly to see if they come back because I want something that matches this. But I got it in an extra small thinking that, you know, extra small is good. I normally get Nike sports bras and stuff in extra small. And it's a little small, like it fits. I really want something to match the bottoms though. So I'm going to keep checking to see if it comes, anything in this color comes back in stock. But that's everything that I got from Aritzia. So now I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. I'm going to do my makeup and get dressed and start making this day productive because it's almost 10 a.m. And I've been keeping to my schedule. Like today's a pretty good to my schedule day so far so I want to keep at that. Makeup is all done now. I think I'm going to curl my hair actually because I'm going to shoot some content for Instagram today. I haven't done that in a little bit um, but you know we go from one comfy outfit to the other so we go from you know the leggings to you know t-shirts and my favorite track pants one comfy outfit to the other but at least I look a little bit more put together now. I've actually been enjoying doing my makeup like every so often because it's nice to feel like a human being again. <laughs> So we're just outside having a little bit of a lunch break right now. I just made us some salads, but it's so nice out, so we thought we'd come and sit out here and eat our lunches. Just made us a big salad bowl. This is like a usual lunch stuff. So. This afternoon, basically, I just worked, shot content all day. It was a very productive day, but it's after dinner now, a little bit later in the evening, and Alan and I have been really wanting some, like, healthier snacks, so I bought beets earlier this week because I saw this, like, beet chip recipe on Pinterest, and I thought I'd try it, so that is what we're going to do now. We're going to make this beet chip recipe, and then tonight is kind of just relaxing. Alan and I are having, like, an us night, but yeah, I'm going to make these with you guys now, show you the recipe because it looks pretty good, so I thought we'd try it out. I'm only gonna do one beet so far because I only have one baking sheet and I don't want to use all the beets if this doesn't taste good. So and this is gonna totally color my poor white cutting board. But we're gonna chop this. You're supposed to use one of those like thin slicer things, but I don't have that. So we're gonna use this big knife and uh, we're gonna hope this goes okay. I'm just gonna cut off the ends because I feel like those are not gonna make good chips. So they're just gonna go. So literally it's just Oh, wearing white track pants maybe isn't a good idea either. But just gonna like slice it really thin and then put all of them in a bowl with some olive oil and salt and let them sit. It says for 15 to 20 minutes so that all like the juices come out and then you drain that and then you put them on the sheet and bake them. So we're gonna do that and see how this goes. So the beets are already, they're so bright pink, but I'm just using this extra virgin olive oil and it says just to drizzle it on until like the beets are coated. So we're gonna do that. I think that's okay, right? So I'm gonna put salt on and then leave them to sit for 15 minutes and then we'll put them on the parchment on the baking sheet. It goes in the oven at 300. in the oven I'm gonna change into some comfy clothes and take off my makeup I mean I'm already in comfy clothes but does anyone else have like day comfy clothes and night comfy clothes because I do so I'm gonna change into my night comfy clothes aka pajamas when those are done we're gonna chill and have just a nice chill night in a lot of this vlog I feel like has been like recipes and chilling and work and 
that is currently my life. I hope you guys are liking the recipes. Let me know because I've been trying lots of new things and it's fun. And taking off my makeup, I love it, but it's gotta go. Finally, the lighting fixed itself. Bless up. I hate that it was pink back there for some reason. Now I actually look like a normal human. Much better. <laughs> okay, all my makeup is off now. Pajamas are on, but we're, the beats are done. So we're gonna do a little taste. Why are you looking at me weird? We're doing a, a taste test stop of the, the beet chips now. So beet chips. this is them all done. Three, two, one. Well, not bad. They're interesting. Interesting. They have a bit of a weird aftertaste, but they're not oh, bad. No. They're, they're okay. I don't know if I'll make them again, but yeah. they're okay. <laughs> now it's face mask time. Three face masks that we have to use. This is the one that I normally use from Teamy, and then I bought this one from Sephora not that long ago. Then I just bought this pretty blue one that's a clay mask, and I want to try this out. So we're going to try out the blue one. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> very blue. I don't want to be pretty. It's very handsome. Thank you. <laughs> this is supposed to help me get the ladies? You already have a lady. Right. I'm not <laughs> impressed with you right now. Mmm, <laughs> luscious, luscious. <laughs> This one smells nice. The teamy one doesn't smell as nice. I like the teamy one. I do too. I like the teamy one a lot, but. You may kiss my neck. <laughs> there, now we just gotta wait for this to be on. We'll probably go watch a show and just like relax a little bit now for the night. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the night now. I just had a shower, washed my hair. I don't know about you guys, but I love having clean hair. It just smells so good. I have this coconut shampoo that I absolutely love. I think it's by OGX and it smells so freaking good. I love it. But I'm just having a little bit of like downtime before I go to sleep. I'm just drinking a little bit of my ginger tea. I feel like I have this like every other night or every third night, but I drink a lot of ginger tea at night just like to relax my digestive system. It's really good for at night. But I wanted to update you guys on two things with the little routine that I made up for myself because two of the things that I said I want to do was start journaling at night as well as reading again. So these are the two things that I kind of wanted to show you guys. I just started Sarah J Ma's new book. She's my favorite author. It's Crescent City. I've been loving it so far. And then I got this a little while back. Um, I think it's similar to the five minute journal but it's called the six minute diary, but it's just a little gratitude thing. Like you write down things that you're grateful for. I think it's really great. It's really cute and just, I don't know, it's really positive for the night and the morning. So I've been doing that recently. I do just have like my normal journal as well, where I like write down my thoughts and everything that's going on because sometimes it's really good to just get out all those thoughts and get everything out onto paper and out of your brain, especially I'm someone that doesn't like talking about like everything that's going on in my brain all the time because there's always stuff going on with my anxiety. I have a lot of thoughts that are sometimes overwhelming. So it really helps for me. I know writing everything down, especially in a time like this. So I just wanted to quickly mention that, but I am gonna end off the vlog here. I hope you guys have been liking these vlogs and these longer vlogs. Let me know if you like like the weekend vlogs or the weekly vlogs or just like a one day vlog here and there, but I've been enjoying vlogging while I've been at home and I've had all this extra free time. So I hope you guys are liking the vlogs. I hope you enjoyed this little productive week in my life and how to make your quarantine a little bit more productive, how to just get your week flowing a little bit better. If you guys want more tips on productivity and stuff like that, I'll probably continue to do that throughout the vlogs because I'm trying to keep to a better schedule now as like this week was. But hopefully I will see you guys in my next video and I love you so much. Mwah. Bye!